Top 10 Secret Police Tricks and Tactics Hello and welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to talk about the Top 10 Secret Police Tricks and Tactics. Before you continue the video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more entertaining videos. Let's get started. Number 1. Your accomplice has already fessed up, so it's better for you to fess up too. Police secure confessions in different ways, and this is one of the most popular ways that is used by police. When you are arrested with somebody else, they interrogate both of you separately, and this tactic works in this situation. They will start interrogation, and before getting started, they will inform you that your accomplice has already confessed and they know everything. Don't fall for it. He may or may not have. If the police successfully secure a confession from you using this method, they will use it against you even if it was based on a lie. Police lie more than other civilians, and lying makes a police officer the most successful. Number 2. We have found your fingerprints at the place of crime. This is another trick that they use against you just to secure a confession from you. They may or may not have found your fingerprints there, but this technique works on many people. Some innocent people will give confessions because they hope that after telling the truth, they will leave them, but they are trained to use your confessions against you. If you try to recant your confession, you will become dishonest, and it will make them more aggressive. So you have to be wise here. Some people who are innocent just give confessions because they believe they won't be aggressive and interrogation will be stopped, but rather it makes them more aggressive, and they try to get confession from you for crimes you haven't even done. Number 3. They will persuade you to drink a glass of water. When you enter the police station, you will probably be worried and hesitant. They will ask you to drink a glass of water just to show off that they are kind and that things are going in the right direction. But it's their secret trick to trap you. When you drink a glass of water, your saliva will be mixed in with the water and some of it will be left in the glass. The glass is their property and they will use it to get your DNA. And when you hold the glass in your hands, it will leave your fingerprints on the external surface of the glass. They will use this trick against you when they don't have enough evidence to compel you to a DNA test. So don't give them a sample of your DNA or fingerprints as a gift by drinking a glass of water. Number 4. The polygraph test has proved that you were lying. A polygraph test is used to detect whether someone is lying or not. It detects your inner hesitation, and when you hesitate, it means you're lying. It's not so difficult for police to rig a fake polygraph test, and so when they show you a fake polygraph test, you don't need to believe it because the polygraph test isn't accepted as evidence in criminal prosecution. After showing you the fake polygraph test, they will compel you to give a confession. It is just their secret trick to degrade you morally so that you think they know all the things already. Fairly administered polygraph tests are not accepted in most cases, so there's nothing to worry about if the polygraph test proves you're lying. Number 5. All things will go easier if you just confess. Confession may stop the interrogation, but things won't go easier after that. They will force you, seduce you to confess. Things will go easier for them, not for you, after that, just because they won't have anything to interrogate. This is the police, and you are dealing with a person with a clever mindset, so you will have to be clever. Confessing doesn't mean they are forgiving you. It's not going to happen this way. It will result in incarceration, not forgiveness. A firm-minded person will make one statement in the early interrogation and will stick to it. Number 6. Refusing to answer their questions amounts to obstruction of justice. When you prefer to remain silent and not answer their questions, this is what they will say. But do you know you have the right to stay silent during an interrogation? Yes, you are not supposed to answer their questions. If they force you or try to torture you, it's illegal and against the law. If they torture you, you have the right to file a case against them. If you destroy the evidence or if you train a witness to lie under oath, then it really amounts to obstruction of justice, but refusing to answer their questions is not obstruction of justice. If the police start questioning you, you can refuse to answer their questions unless your lawyer is present. When your lawyer arrives, you can consult him before answering the questions. It's legally your right to consult your lawyer before you answer their questions. Number 7. The Bad Cop and Good Cop Trick 
Most people who have faced police interrogation are familiar with this trick. At first, a good cop will come to you and he will ask you some questions and try to convince you to confess or give consent to a search. He will look kind-hearted and polite. But when you refuse to give consent or confession, he will leave you alone for a while. And after that, an aggressive cop will come to you for interrogation. The bad cop will talk to you aggressively and angrily. He may lose control if you don't follow the advice of a good cop to confess. Sometimes both of them will come and start interrogation. One will talk politely and convince you to confess, and the other will make you fear that you will have to face the consequences if you don't follow the instructions of a good cop. Number 8. Some people are eyewitnesses of your crime. This is another trick that can make you fearful. They will try to decrease your confidence. They will make you feel as if they know everything, and the best way to end this interrogation is to simply confess. When police claim that they have eyewitnesses, you should demand that they present those eyewitnesses who saw you at the place where the crime took place. And eyewitnesses should be able to recognize you when you are standing in a lineup. If they can't identify you in a lineup, they aren't real eyewitnesses. So don't lose your confidence when they say they have eyewitnesses. They just don't exist. If they claim to have eyewitnesses, they must produce them, otherwise their claim is false. Number 9. They may record your conversation with your cellmate. This is the ultimate trick that works well on those who don't give confession. They will try every trick to get you to confess, but if all else fails, they will use this one on you. You will probably have some cellmates. They can record the conversations of criminals who refuse to answer their questions or refuse to give confessions. The police station is their property and they can do anything there, like placing a microphone in your cell. They don't need your consent to do that. When you are in a police station and haven't given a confession yet, don't discuss your crimes with your cellmates. You should assume that everything in the jail is under observation and whatever you say is being recorded. Number 10. The Use of Star Chase A star chase is a secret device that is used by police. Most people don't know about it. It is used to locate the criminal when he rushes and the police fail to catch him. It seems a little bit big and it can be seen easily on your car, but they are trying to make a smaller version of this device. They will throw it towards your car and it will attach to your car. It has a battery inside it and a GPS tracking system that transmits signals to the police. When you see this device attached to your car, then you are in big trouble. They are locating your area and are coming to arrest you. It works well when a criminal runs away from the place in his car. The device will share with them your location and you will be tracked easily no matter where you are. But these devices have a limited range of signal transmission. When you are out of range, they can't track your location. So, that's all for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for more great content. Thanks for watching.